this is ready for the road trip. Acha! It's such a beautiful day. Louie's already going to sleep in the sun. Just about to drive up to the beach house. I'm driving first, so I'll fill you guys in when Hamish takes over the wheel. All right, you guys cannot see me. We're on the open road right now, and it's probably very loud. But uh, obviously, it's very dark, and when I get home, I'm going to see the house for the first time, but not really, because it's going to be dark. So I'm going to show you it tomorrow in daylight, but I'll show you inside because not much has changed. We've got some new light fittings and things, so we'll have a look at those. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to go view the venue. Once again, I'll show you the house. It's going to be fun. It's almost 10 p.m. now. We're almost at um, the beach house. We're just about to get on the toll road up to Papamore now. So yeah, we're almost there. It's been a really good drive. Beautiful weather. I'll show you the house. A little bit of a sneak peek when we get there. All of the furniture is going to be misplaced. That's one of our jobs this weekend is to put all of the furniture back in place. Um, because obviously the builders had to like move it all into the centers of the rooms and all sorts of stuff like that. Because they've been working on the walls and the windows and rebuilding everything. So it's all just all over the show. So that's our job. To make it look nice again. <laughs> we arrived, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Did we arrive? Yay! Do we have the bowls? Flowers! So pretty. Got a note here. I know. You hungry? There was one down the very bottom. Cute little card from the lady who's been helping us with the beach house. It says, Welcome home. We hope you love your beach house in Cozy Papa Mods. So cute. I can show you one thing that's changed. Well, actually, the walls are all freshly painted, so we need to, whoops, put some holes in the walls again for the art, but. Here's one thing that's changed. We got new lights. <laughs> we got these from Lighting. Wait, did we get them from Lighting Direct? Yeah, close. They're pretty dope. I really like them. So they go with the decor and everything really well. We've got to set up this whole room. That's where the leather armchair goes. That broke. <gasps> oh, poor thing. Oh, there's another one. I feel like in this camera, because it's so widescreen, it makes everything look funny. But that's where the armchair goes. Some of you guys will remember from the last vlog coffee table and everything. I do have a beach house tour on my channel if you want to see how it looked before. Massive TV. Yes. The pumps are in. I wonder, I don't know if they're actually wired in or not though. They might not actually be working right now. Um, because that's just got to finish off a few more things before we can sign the house off in like a few weeks. Like, some of the concrete outside. The balcony's all done but I want to wait until the morning or like, I don't know, maybe I'll have a peek later but I'll show you guys when I see it. Yes, I love this place. It's so beautiful. I need some art for right here. It's not. Bigger. No, it's not. Oh, new color, light gray. Oh, that feels sturdy, Hamish. That feels secure. Oh, it, feels, it looks like there's nothing there on the camera. We've got glass put in. Oh, it's actually, I like the thickness of that. Yeah. On the, on the photos, it looks thinner, so that's good. See, and then the over here, there, the I, this isn't finished. Oh, wait, yes, it is finished. No, it's, it's just not, got a big thing. It's, kind um, of. So this is a frosted one here just for privacy from the neighbours so we can like chill here and they can't like spy on us. But the front is all clear Look facing up. the road. Look up. Yeah. Give it to me. Is it even hooked up? Oh, oh, there's one. We can't see the house colour right now but I'll show you guys tomorrow. Remember how we took ages to pick the paint? You guys will be able to see how it finally looks. So there's a side one. Oh, that looks nice though, the light. They put in, um, I think you can move this. Does the store open? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it slides open as well. Is that if you want? Oh, yeah. But it's bright. Put two, there's two in here um, that we can store. If you want two more lights, you can in the future. Please look. You must, yeah. <laughs> Don't make me panic like that. So he likes the glass. He's like standing there peering out of it. He's spying on people. There you go. Is that working? Oh, yeah, that's working. Make it pink. <laughs> Ooh. Did it change it? Yeah, it's going purple. Like it? Yeah, that's so cool. Oh shit, you should put it on for Bevan and Michaela when they get home. Can I turn the brightness up though? Oh, that's so cool. What is setting this on? is how extra we are, guys. Oh yeah, that was fading. Yeah, rainbow. Hold on, give me a These are the things we get excited over. We're like, ooh, rainbow. I can keep just put one more up there. Eh? <laughs> nah, one's enough. Party on. <laughs> they were going to be driving down the street like, the fuck? What's that do? Is that just white? White. That looks nice. Just for like, clean. What is that doing? Is it turning it up? Making it brighter maybe? How bright is that? But it's cooler toned. It's going more like, cool grey. Yeah. 
That's orange. Orange, what about uh, now? White again. Bluish. Oh, I think it was flashing. Oh, That's slow. Yeah, leave it like that. Leave it on for Bevan and Michaela. I want to see what they say. Good morning. So I thought I'd show you how the colors of the house look. This is my first time looking as well. So, sort of dark gray, and then like the silver color. I think it came out real nice. Obviously, it's hard to tell on camera. Can you yeah. see the gray on You can kind of see how that looks. Yeah, look at that. Do you reckon that's pretty accurate? Oh, kinda. Kinda. And you can see it kind of there. Like in the bright sunlight, it looks more like black and white. But like in the shade or if it's cloudy, it's more gray. It's quite cool. I like it. Yeah, it's like the darkest way you go. Yeah. Because um, something start damaging it if you go too dark. I so, would like to have gone darker, but oh well. So down here, this is where the concrete's going to go and obviously the lawn. So that's the last thing to go in. And then we're pretty much finished and we'll all paint the fence at some stage we don't really know what color we're going to go for what do you guys think we should do should we just go like a dark color or what i don't know something that matches with all of this stuff here but yeah the decking looks real good as well with the house pretty wrapped and the dogs like it so this glass here's um like i said yesterday frosted so this is me so this is what was going wrong here this is falling out oh, yeah. so they're coming back to put a support in for that that's good. Mm -hmm. Did you like the downpipe colours? Did you see them? Yeah, the I did. Black piping. Yeah, you can see the downpipe there. It's like a dark grey as well. That's all going to be what concreted down there. Or is that grass? Yeah, everything's concrete down there. Yeah. How far does the concrete go to? The same as before. Same. Okay, good. So all the, it goes all the way up to the front. Yeah. And then basically, you can see it here. You can pretty much see where it goes to, right? Come down yeah. on an angle. Yeah. And then I think from about there downwards, there's all grass back to there. Yeah. So basically where those logs are, all of that's grass. So it's the same as that, that all down, down there. The concrete pad for that for the dogs. unit. Yeah. Just a good amount for the dogs to go to the bathroom on. And then like we walk them like right there at the beach. So they don't need a lot of space. They like to stay inside most of the time and stay up here on the second level with us so it's just perfect so we are just getting ready we're heading off to the venue in about an hour or so so i'm going to take you along and show you a couple of sneak peeks i've already asked them if that's all right and they said it is so yeah i'll just show you what it's like i haven't asked the next venue if i could vlog because the communication's been a bit like <gasps> so i just i yeah i haven't even asked um but if I end up loving it more than the one that you're going to see, I'll just fill you in um, and show you another time, if that makes sense. Like, when I go up there to organize some other wedding stuff. We're almost there. It's on Pies Pa Road. We are here. Vivian's just staying with the dogs. When, on a wedding day, we stick a staff member on car parking duty to greet the guests, direct them in, yeah. all that sort of thing. Um, obviously, I didn't actually look when you were last year, I can't remember what um, time of year it was, but um, looking at it now is pretty similar to what it would be like in the Um There is some... I think we got engaged. Uh, yeah, I can't remember, but... <laughs> Oh, didn't you? No. Yeah, so I mean, this is great. Like, when you were off having zillions. So, this is like when you walk in, right? Yeah, get married off there. So cool. This is just finished flowering, so we're going to be here for us today. You're welcome to bring in other stuff, like, you can hire linen, tablecloth, and all that sort of jazz if you want to. Yeah. Um, the rose was just not looking quite like that. Yeah, I'm a big fan of just like green, green, yeah. It's 
So what do you think of it all? Good. Yeah? Do you like the One venue still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still like it. It's just cute, simple, everything's here. All of the photo opportunities are here. Everything you need's here. You don't have to faff around with it. It's just like ready to go. And we just decorate with flowers and whatever else we want. So we've got one more to look at and then I need to make a decision because it's creeping up. All right, guys. So me and Michaela just washed down or wiped down, I guess, this bed. <laughs> we just um, wiped down this acrylic case. And I bought heaps of makeup like when we first came out to the beach house in a box and never really did anything with it. And then just kind of bought my makeup bags up with me and decided I needed to actually put together like a little makeup station so that I don't have to pack makeup every time I come. Like you guys know I've got a friggin' enough of it. So I thought I'd just leave some things. So I'm just organizing it at the moment. I'll show you what we end up with at the end. There's heaps of like Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff and God knows we'll what's in down here. The yeah, we're like finding all of this like skincare we're loading up the bathrooms with. So it's good. I love that veil to Oh, it's got no artificial colors, fragrances, pear. So is that all real rose? I can smell it from here. It must have a lot. Yeah, no fragrances. We're talking about this stuff. Leno hand moisturizer. Yeah, we're finding all the goods today. We found this we want to use later too. So maybe I'll show you guys and let you guys know how it works. Superfood salad mask. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. Bevan and Diana are cooking for us. So that's fun. Shannon's over here. Just had something disgusting. Yeah. Is it strong? Yeah. I'm gonna put in a little bit of this ginger ale. I wanna try and flip it around. So that's fun. <laughs> Welcome to Michaela's vlog. <laughs> Bevan. Turn around. I'm filming you. Would you like to sing a little song for the vlog? Yeah, you, you put me on the spot, so I can't. Well, now you need to think of one tomorrow morning. The I'll expect it. Um, what's that song about the, 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 um, the people dancing for a bar mitzvah? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Steven's had a few drinks, he can't think of any chat. Nice. Left. Shannon, tell everyone what just happened. Well, I had the incinerator on and you use your toe. So I had my toe in the incinerator, but in things to turn the incinerator on, which is the thing that swallows up all of the vegetable scraps. And you know. And so, anyway, I let go of the button and I was like, it'll turn off, and I dropped the. This. Scrubbing brush. Scrubbing brush. And I dropped it and it fell into the instant crater. It starts just like twisting and turning and spinning. And I was like, oh. and everyone's like, ah! And then I like went to grab it. And was just like, don't touch it! And then I was like, ah! And they never went to touch it. Anyway, you had to be there. Everyone survived. No fingers were lost. And oh, how do I zoom on this? Oh, no, nah, that's too hard. That, oh, this isn't your normal vlog plan. Oh, I have to walk over there. He is a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah, well, we don't need to the yet. That was not chill. Big stack. Hello! Big stack. It is Tuesday morning, just got back from the gym, so that's good. Didn't vlog yesterday, we just drove home. Um, and on Sunday, we viewed another venue, which ended up being the one. So I'm very excited. I didn't vlog it, but it kind of gives you guys something to look forward to. And I hope you enjoyed viewing the last venue as well. I really loved it as well. We ended up going for a different one because there just ended up being some like accommodation on site, which was really handy for me to get ready. It was a little bit more open and God forbid the wet weather option was probably a little bit more me, but I really like the marquee from the other one, but I feel like, you know, I had to weigh up the pros and cons and everything and yeah. I loved both of them so much so it's quite hard to make a decision but we got there in the end so I'm pretty happy and I feel like I couldn't have really gone wrong with both of those choices at least so yeah if you're getting married in the Tauranga area definitely check out that venue I showed because the lady there was like a pleasure to deal with and it's super beautiful but yeah you guys will soon see which venue I chose I'm going to keep you in the loop with like what I choose for wedding stuff florals, food, all of that kind of stuff. So if any of you guys live in the Tauranga area, please leave your recommendations down below because I'm trying to do a whole lot of market research right now to figure out like who's the best kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking for florals for the wedding. I just want to like keep it very green and I'm thinking for my bridesmaids, I'm going to do like light champagne or light gold or something for the dresses. So I just want like white 
and green flowers and maybe a few like light pink flowers or something and I don't really know what kind of flowers yet I'm not too phased but yeah just lots and lots of greenery I want to decorate the entire room where we eat with like shit tons of flowers and greenery all over the tables like at the ceremony I just want like greenery and beautiful flowers and white flowers and stuff so that's kind of like my vibe. I'm gonna go try on some wedding dresses, which I'm hoping to do with you guys as well. I'm going to get one designed, but I need to like go to a store and just try on some wedding dresses so I can figure out what kind of style I wanna actually like go for and design um, with my dress designer. So yeah, very exciting. And I'm gonna end this vlog right here um, and I'll talk to you guys soon, tomorrow, whenever.